So let's continue with a look round about my library. Now in this video we're going to look at just a few books here. There's about five or six and they're on the history of mathematics which is another subject I find uh, fascinating and it's a nice thing to do whenever your brain is overloaded and you're just looking for some kind of light uh, mathematical relief. So I'll start off with the one that I would recommend most. Now I would suggest well, from my suggestion, if you're looking for just one book on the history of mathematics and you're going to buy one, then possibly uh, this John Stilwell would be a good book. And you can see it's an undergraduate text, so you could really start this after, you know, going through, say, high school mathematics or really just at the beginning or first year at a university. So I've gone over this cover to cover and it's a great uh, learning uh, resource and the typescript in it is nice and large so you're, you're not like you know you're not fighting to to read it um, and there's a lot of really beautiful uh, diagrams in it as well so I would suggest this if you're just deciding to um, to get started on it and get some kind of understanding so that's the first one uh, the next one, I've read this one as well, uh, called The Mathematical Experience. It's not so much a history of mathematics, but there's obviously a lot of a, a historical development that's described within it. Um, and again, I, I would suggest this if you're interested just in general uh, mathematics. So for instance, I'll, I'll read out what's in the contents here, just the first chapter. So the first chapter, what is mathematics? Where is mathematics? the mathematical community, the tools of the trade, how much mathematics is, is now known, uh, how much mathematics can there be, and there's, let's see, the current individual and collective consciousness, the ideal mathematician, a physicist's look at mathematics, and it goes on and on, and there's like seven or eight chapters, and every single part of it is really, really interesting. I read through this at about five five years ago I think I read through this uh, and I intend to go back through it again because uh, it's just so interesting you know <laughs> that's a, a really good book so uh, that's another one I would suggest there uh, by Philip J Davies and uh, Ruben Hirsch again if there's any one of these per books that you're interested in me talking a little bit more about you can always put a comment and I can go through them in a bit more detail now this book here was the recommended text for the Open University, uh, The History of Mathematics. So there's a lot more detail in this than say would be in the Stillwell book. And it's really a book that's been put together as part of a, a course. So I'll show you the course notes here. So this is the Open University History of Mathematics course notes. And as I said, in previous videos probably mentioned that I think that the Open University uh, course notes for uh, mathematics courses or the, the mathematics courses that I've seen have been excellent or just really really good and so here's for example you know uh, there's about 15 I think is a fit one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so 17 units Okay, so, and they go through uh, a whole load of different um, topics. You know, uh, the Greek concept of proof, the Greek study of curves. This is these aren't actually in order at the moment. Uh, from the Greeks to the uh, Renaissance. I hold it over this side. I think I actually can see it better. Um, the Renaissance of Mathematical Sciences in Britain and it continues on with this so on and so forth and there's a whole load uh, of just really fascinating uh, subjects uh, there's uh, Descartes um, Algebra and uh, Geometry The Route to Calculus So you can check online and it will give you the full set of course. I think the Open University has actually stopped this 
uh, history of mathematics course but this book along with the these um, course notes is a uh, is the Open Universities course but I think you could possibly if you hunt about online you'll find someone selling a second hand copy of these if you're looking to do a little bit of history of mathematics and take it a little bit more seriously then I would suggest getting these notes or checking the Open University and see whether they actually uh, the course still exists uh, I bought this other one here uh, after I had read the Stillwell book, so this is History of Mathematics, okay, Carol B. Boyer. So it covers, you know, the same sort of material that the Stillwell book covers, and there's a little bit more in it, and it's a little bit more detailed, and uh, it'd be a good second book to read after reading the uh, John Stillwell book. So that's the books that I have on the History of Mathematics. Uh, oh, there's, I suppose, uh, another couple of books which I, I should, well, it's not really a history of mathematics. Now, I was going to show you the, um, the Princeton's Companion to Mathematics, but I've mentioned those in a, a previous video. So that's all for this video. If you're interested in getting be talking through any of these, uh, the course notes or the books that I have here and looking them in a bit more detail, then you can make a comment down below and uh, I'll pick up the comment. Or if you've got other books there in the history of, in the history of mathematics that you can recommend to me, then uh, get in touch. So thank you for listening. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.